president of uh, the show today, and we're talking to uh, Coach Lawrence Cole, the head uh, football coach at Tennessee State University, uh, and uh, he's talking about uh, some of the things that uh, the Houston, uh, the uh, Tennessee Oilers have done in terms of uh, bringing a different attitude uh, to uh, the institution. Uh, you know, Coach Cole, one of the things I think we uh, certainly have to talk about uh, during this period is the uh, uh, classics. Uh, I think you've had uh, 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 one classic in Memphis this time that uh, there were some 60-odd thousand people. Now, what does that mean to you as a coach of a traditional historical black institution? Uh, you know, you've been to Morgan State and others, but you've never uh, played in front of that kind of crowd before at, at an historical institution, has it? Is right. That, yeah. No. Well, you know, I think a lot of people are curious about Tennessee State. Um, I look back on last year, we set some attendance records, you know, mm -hmm. pretty pretty much. But this year, we're kind of like blowing it out of the mm -hmm. circuit here, and everybody's just kind of real, real curious. And uh, I guess I, sometimes I guess I say to myself, I guess I keep the program where, you know, mm -hmm. everybody curious about Tennessee State. Because one time we have a, a tryout. Sometimes we don't have players, uh, mm -hmm. this, that. So a lot of people are curious, but, you know, to play in front of a crowd, I think that was remarkable. It, it tells you the potential that Tennessee State mm -hmm. football program has. And mm -hmm. I think what's happening is right now, everybody's seeing the program is, is starting to come back and back in the day, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I always did say that as a reference, but we will never be the football team we were back in the John Merritt days. Mm -hmm. um, we have to let that go, but what we can do is, is get that belief back into the people that, mm -hmm. or who has that feeling about, man, it feels like it was back in the John Mary days. I heard mm -hmm. that a lot when we was up in, uh, mm -hmm. in Memphis last week, but we are, uh, we're curious. Uh, uh, the people can't sit in the stands and say, well, they just gonna run up the middle mm -hmm. or they just gonna run around the end. Now they come out there and they see a show. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big believer in here and I always say defense win games and offense sell tickets. Mm -hmm. And that's what our offense, our offense make very, people very curious. I mean, mm -hmm. the things that we do on offense is, mm -hmm. is very exciting. And uh, I think they like the way our defense runs around. I mm -hmm. think that's very curious. And, mm -hmm. you know, not taking anything away from Jackson State, you know, they brought a lot of people to that game too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. You know, uh, uh, Coach, uh, uh, as we uh, end the, wrap up these last three or four minutes that we have here, Let's give you an opportunity to say something about uh, some of your players. I think you've already talked about your staff and whatnot. And, and uh, let's talk about some of your players and some of the people that you believe are stand out and people that are contributing to your team and that from, from that perspective, if you right. so wish. <coughs> right. I, you know, I, I usually always, I'm a, I'm a big team guy. And, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes I hate to separate one guy from mm -hmm. the other guy. But you always, each individual is blessed with a different talent. Mm -hmm. And then we have that on our team. But... What we did last year, we felt that we had to really improve this football team to be a, a good football team coming this year. And that's why this football team has come from being down at the bottom of all the polls in the OBC and all the statistics mm -hmm. to at the top of this, uh, the, the charts. Well, what we did is we felt that we needed to go out and get a quarterback because we only had one quarterback, and that was Todd Valentine. So we went out and recruited Leon Murray, a quarterback, a transfer from Pitt University which has been doing a, a fabulous job for us. And Leon is a very special individual, come from a very, very good background family. His father's a minister, so it kind of tells you what kind of character this young mm -hmm. man is. And he, he's a very, very quiet type guy, but mm -hmm. I think he, his leadership of, the, of, the, of uh, the kids, they just look at him as a, mm -hmm. as a, a great leader. Uh, I look at a uh, wide receiver. We already had Juan Hall, which is a great receiver, mm -hmm. was all, all OVC receiver, and then we, felt that we needed to get some more speed in here that people wouldn't double up on Warren Hall. Mm -hmm. And we ended up bringing in Tyrone Butterfield, which is a transfer from the Big Ten University of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And he's a very, very fast receiver. He's leading OVC and kickoff returns and receiving. So mm -hmm. we, 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 we sold that up a little bit. And then we went and got Kevin Jackson, another receiver from mm -hmm. the University of Cincinnati, uh, as another great receiver. And then we felt that uh, we the going with the combination of Corey uh, Sullivan's another receiver so we mm -hmm. felt like we needed to get a lot more speed on the offensive side of the ball to really dash some things up and, and that's mm -hmm. what we did and we look at our, our backfield uh, we may have small running backs but they're very fast mm -hmm. every last one of our running backs they're in a four three speed uh, mm -hmm. Davenport Kevin Davenport our running back uh, he's like second in the conference in rushing so we're, we feel like we're on the right track on that area there. Mm -hmm. What we need to really do is really try to patch up our offensive line. I mean, we don't 
had a, quite a few injuries here that's kind of like mm -hmm. slowing our progress down right now. But, uh, you know, we had a week off, and we felt like we'll be back strong. Mm -hmm. Then on the defensive side of the ball, you know, we always talk about defense win games. We went out and ended up getting us a couple of transfers on defense. Mm -hmm. And linebacker, we got Amon Williams, a transfer from Eastern mm -hmm. Michigan. Uh, another linebacker, Quincy Faulkner, transfer from Kent State. Mm -hmm. uh, cornerback, uh, Al Phillips from Kent State. Mm -hmm. uh, defensive line, uh, Jamil Graham from um, Michigan, uh, Mississippi State. Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas Graham from mm -hmm. University of Hawaii. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, it, our team is a whole lot new face changes <laughs> mm -hmm. over there. So. That is what's making a big difference. And mm -hmm. then we took Hillary, one of our starting tailbacks, and moved him mm -hmm. to uh, free safety. So that's why you see a lot of faces. I think that's why you see we're, where we're at right now. That's why I think you see a lot of exciting football out there right Very now. Very good. And, Coach, let, over this last 30 seconds that we have, let me thank you for uh, bringing us the information that uh, you've given us about your football team and about uh, some of the uh, prospects that you see and some of the uh, possibilities. I think that... Most of the people of Nashville are very, very positive in reference to the uh, Tennessee State Athletic Program and the football program especially. And I think you hear that on the radio and everywhere and see it in the newspaper. And let me thank you for coming by and giving I us that information. It. And let me encourage you to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Coming.